MGB with a DCOE Weber. You see it's shaking. Okay? Rev that thing up a little bit, sir. Okay. You see that thing shaking at idle. So let's look at something. This is a cylinder shorting bar graph. It shows how many RPMs of engine speed will drop when we kill one cylinder at a time. So take a look at this. Cylinder number one. Nothing hardly even happens. Cylinder number two we're going to kill. Car almost stalls. Cylinder number three. Car almost stalls. Cylinder number four. Again, you can't even hear a difference in the engine. So that's why that engine's running and idling rough like it is right there. Now we're going to try this at a couple different engine speeds. I'm going to change my, my range select and clear this. So let's try 1,200 RPMs. 12, 1250, somewhere around there. And let's see what happens. Cylinder number one. Again, you can't even see any difference. Cylinder number two. Boom, it drops the engine speed 360 RPM. Cylinder number three. Boom, drops the engine speed 250 RPMs. Number four. Again, you can't even hear any change in the engine. So this basic, this engine at 1200, 1300 is running on two cylinders. So let's bring this up to about 3500 RPMs. about 2,500, 22, 22 is alright, let's try it, one, two, three, So one in four at higher engine speeds, one in four at higher engine speeds are still not contributing the same power as two and three. We've also done this same test and we've seen one in four contribute more power than two and three at higher engine speeds. There's no real consistency, but at all, the only common denominator is right there, DCOE Weber, with what's called a long branch intake manifold, stock engine, stock camshaft.